Okay, Doombots, last and almost certainly least, ISO 8 class quick start guide for Fortifier. Unlike all of the other ISO 8s, Fortifier suffers from a problem we have from other games under the concept of overhealing. Fortifier, well, let's look at Fortifier and determine why it's not hitting the mark that I think maybe some people thought it should. So, Fortifier is incredibly simple. At level 1, on spawn, bury yourself for 10,000. Now, early in the game, when your character's health pool is, we'll say, 50,000. Well, this is meaningful. Keep in mind, your barrier can only ever be 30% of your health pool. Period. So, if you have 100,000 health, your barrier can only ever be 30,000. Even if you got 50,000 for some reason. So, 10,000 health sounds really good at the very low stages of the game. Realistically, you're never going to get 10,000. And by the time you do, there's probably something better than Fortifier. The max health is pretty relevant because of how it goes the same way healer at level 3. You get an additional barrier on spawn, and on turn barrier yourself for 3% of this character's max health. So you're already starting off with 20,000 at level 3, uh, and then every turn you regenerate a little bit of your health in shield. Pretty okay for those who don't know, barrier is a uh, over health that you have that is unaffected by uh, defense up, or armor, or piercing basically it's just whatever damage you do it goes from the shield first and then moves on i believe piercing damage can go through the shield to some extent but the details of which i'm very shaky on so moving to the final 1500 additional barrier for spawn bringing your barrier to 3500 so obviously you're not level 5 barriering uh fortifying anybody who's got less than a hundred thousand health because that's an overheal and then plus 4% bring the total to a 7% barrier on turn. It's a lot of shield. Okay, so while I have stature here, the protector of the team, and while most people did inherently think, you know, like all of the other things, that the uh, fortifier stat would be absolutely amazing on the tanks, right? Like, let's make the tanks tankier. As it turns out, it, it hasn't been. Maybe as you're progressing them and leveling them up, it's been enough to get them through some of the harder content in the game. But ultimately, most of the tanks are either pretty well built without Fortifier, or in cases of characters like Strife, he's always going to be barriered for his full health no matter what. So even if you're using level 1 or level 2 fortifier on him he's gonna retain such a high barrier from his own abilities that it's not going to be beneficial uh, as you can kind of tell my stature is relatively under invested in so fortifier has been useful for her that said i know for a fact i'm not going to uh, stick with fortifier on her uh, it's, or it's unlikely i will maybe with all the dodges you might find some value what i will tell you though just like all of the ISOs have an additional value, they have the obvious, this is for people who do damage, this is for people who hit a lot, this is for people who heal. There's always a second thing, another way that these abilities go up. For Fortifier, I call it accidental survivability. So, looking at the characters I have Fortifier on, and yes, one of them is a joke, and I'll let you guess which one it is. I have three characters with Fortifier because I need those characters to stay more alive than they normally would. Now, Doctor Strange, he's so integral to the works of the Supernatural team that if he gets destroyed incredibly early, there's almost no way my Supernatural team will be able to win the warfight or do whatever they need to do. Loki, very similarly, uh, if Loki was uh, taken out early in the Asgardian fight, that kind of left free reign to farm everybody else because nobody else was going to be able to kind of sustain. So in lieu of gear, I was able to put Fortifier on characters like Loki, like Domino, like Doctor Strange, so I didn't have to spend so much 
sheer limited, re super limited resources to make them more survivable as the ISO 8s, which are limited resources, of course, but not as limited, uh, gave them enough to survive and, and kind of push through. Uh, and if anyone who uses the uh, X-Force team knows that Domino is the squishiest thing in the game, so giving her that fortifier, I'm telling you, did you know Domino has an ultimate? It's crazy. She has a special, too. She's done all of them. I heard she has a basic. I've never quite used that. She's not that good with fortifier, but... I've been able to use my X-Force team, even with the 46k Domino, because I took a character who was either under-geared or under-leveled or just undervalued uh, in, in, in defense and gave them a fighting chance at surviving so that my team can do what they needed to do. So that's the, the unsung value of Fortifier. You'll find a lot of people doing Dark Dimensions, anyone, really. Um, or raids that are maybe just a little bit further than they normally should be able to put, but adding uh, one or two ranks in Fortifier, you know, just the extra health pool, is enough for them to be survivable enough to accomplish the task. So while Fortifier is ostensibly the worst of all of the ISO classes right now, we'll wait to see the next stage, as of everything else, it, it, it's where it's good, it's phenomenal. And everywhere else, it's just kind of mediocre. So, you know, do me a favor, comment below, let me know any idea of where you're getting incredible value at a fortifier outside of the obvious, like I put it on my, my Colossus and now he never dies harder than he used to never die. Or, you know, I put it on Thanos and then I chuckled as he's throwing random heals to other people. Yeah, whatever it is, let me know what uh, your version of fortifier is uh, i don't think i have many more characters than this with fortifier on and one of them is a complete joke and i don't even have fortifier on that character so let me know what you guys think anyway have a good night have a great day i've been tony scongeli and i'll catch you later